I could die any day. Um, and he even told my parents to prepare for my funeral when I was at the lowest weight. In her first year of college, Christy Rutzel developed a condition known as orthorexia, an eating disorder. Christy became obsessed with eating only healthy food and very little of it. It started when she learned her new college friends were into healthy eating and exercise. She wanted to fit in, so she spent hours researching different diets. The switch to healthy eating was not a bad thing, but Christy took it to the extreme. She cut out more and more items until she was only eating a few raw vegetables a day. It was a self-esteem identity issue to where I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a hobby, I didn't have a sport, I didn't have something that I could identify with. Um, so the diets became more of a identity. And this was something that gave me confidence and kind of gave me a little boost of self-esteem. Within a few months, Christy dropped below 100 pounds. The more weight I lost, the more people started to recognize that something was happening. So instead of the, Christy, you look good, you look great, what are you doing? I started getting comments like, are you taking care of yourself? Um, what are you doing now? The RA in her dorm was alarmed by her rapid weight loss and took her to the doctor. Doctor definitely weighed me and had both of us in the room and told both of us that it looked like I was headed down the road of anorexia, which again was a little weird to me because I'm like, I'm not trying to lose weight. Like I'm not counting calories. I'm just trying to eat healthy. Christy's parents were asked to take her home. They were shocked to see the extreme weight loss in only one semester. So they checked her into a treatment facility for eating disorders. It didn't work. You know, your whole lifestyle is going to change from here on out if you don't start, you know, just eat something. Like I couldn't go out to eat with my friends or they'd invite me to the movies and I knew people were going to be eating popcorn. So I would say no. Um, so on one hand, I stayed in the disorder because I felt lost and I felt lonely. And yet the disorder kept me lost and lonely. Like it's just this vicious cycle of I don't have any friends, I'm lonely, I'm sad. So I'm gonna take it out on myself and find something like not eating. Her parents frequently took her to the doctor to weigh in. Christy even figured out a way around that. I got to the point where I was like stuffing my pockets with quarters and carrying around little weights that would add five or 10 pounds here or there. With quarters in her pockets and small weights on her ankles, Christy weighed in at 68 pounds. Her parents put her in the hospital again. I realized it was serious um, when I when I got to that point where I was, you know, feeling my heartbeat constantly. Um, I couldn't walk down the street without, you know, like gasping for breath. Um, and it was at that point where I said, "Okay, I'm obviously, you know, how many times have I been in the hospital, um, and I'm still not better." And just to the point where, okay, I can't do this on my own. Um, not only do I need to accept the help, but I need to be willing to say, okay, God, <laughs> this is in your hands now. I'm letting go of control. While in the hospital, Christy heard from a Christian friend. And I remember getting a card, um, and on it was Psalm 103, just talking about how the Lord forgives your sins, He heals your diseases, and it even goes to say, He renews your life from the pit. I was sick of being tired. And I had so many just dreams and hopes for my life, and none of it was going to happen. Christy asked God to heal her of the eating disorder. It felt just like this peace <laughs> to where I didn't have to be in control, no matter how lost or how insecure I felt with myself. God's a God of hope and of a future. And it just gave me this overarching just sense of peace and contentment, finally. Christy began concentrating on growing in her relationship with Jesus and putting her obsession with food behind. There were moments every day where I was like, wow, I had breakfast this morning of peanut butter toast, did some college work, went to work, had you know a turkey sandwich for lunch, and I didn't even think about it all day. So those moments of victory came when I realized I hadn't thought about the food I ate or what I was going to eat. It was just life. Christy finally reached a healthy weight she finished college, and today she is happily married with four children and another one on the way. When I look at my life today, the family that I have in my home, uh, it's just complete joy and peace that I have. I mean, there's no greater things than realizing you have life back. Not only spiritual life, but physical life. And there's no way to express your thanks to the Lord for, you know, I have eternal life, but guess what? <laughs> you have full life here today on the earth.